Baruch seems to be a pretty solid Warframe from what I've personally been looking up. Apparently he can reduce enemy damage by 97% if you use all of his abilities correctly. And with the right mods you can reduce damage to 99% which is absolutely insane. I mean, how's that even fair? I know I'm starting off with the numbers right away here. I usually have like a funny goofy intro. But I was absolutely just flabbergasted by these numbers and I don't even know if I believe them. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Before I've been able to find, Baruch is the most tanky Warframe in the entire game. Even more so in frames like Hildren and Rhino, and I'm pretty sure I said Hildren wrong, but please don't get on me for that, it's a weird looking word. I really like the sound of this honestly by the way, because I play solo a ton in Warframe, since I have no friends, <laughs> and don't like playing with randoms, so having a frame that can make me nearly unkillable honestly sounds super nice, especially if you can do that without any insane modding needing to be done. The biggest issue I've seen people have with Baruch mostly on Reddit in the forums, is that he doesn't really have any moves that deal a ton of damage, and the whole gimmick of its frame is not fighting back essentially, which makes sense with the whole peaceful monk forced to be a hero concept, which is honestly a pretty cool concept, I do like that. And when one of the biggest things in Warframe is killing tons of enemies and getting lots of loot, that's obviously somewhat of an issue though. However, since I am a casual, casual and proud, and I really don't have any frames with good abilities because I haven't modded a single frame properly or optimally yet. I really don't mind his abilities being centered around keeping himself alive since I don't really rely on big damage abilities anyway. I mean, my most used abilities are Rhino's Iron Skin and Ash's Invisibility, so I'm just being real here. So this downside isn't like a huge factor for me because like I said, I'm a casual player, guys. I'm a casual, I say it so much, and the reason I say it so much is I don't have comments constantly calling me bad, okay? I'm casual, don't call me bad, I'm casual. Bad hurts my feelings. Casual makes it feel like I'm not trying my hardest, but I am trying my hardest. I am just bad, but I'll just say casual instead. Anyway, I'm not perfectly modding any Warframe, so fuck that. Now, as you may have noticed from this background gameplay, I have Baruch Prime and not Standard Baruch. So, uh, I'll just go ahead and talk about both versions here, uh, because that's what I'm trying to do in this video, to give you casuals out there, you know, a little bit of knowledge to see if you might guys, you guys might, like, enjoy Baruch. And for all you pros out there, I'm just funny and sexy, like I always say, so you should keep watching. First off, to get Baruch, it sucks, apparently. <laughs> I, I don't know, get, to get Standard Baruch, apparently it sucks. I wouldn't know, because I have Prime. <laughs> You either need to grind circuit or grind your standing with Vox Solaris. And grinding those things just kind of sucks. I was actually grinding some Vox Solaris standing today, and it sucked. At least I don't have a ton of fun doing those things personally. Maybe you guys enjoy that shit, but let's be honest, you don't, because I'm pretty sure most people don't. Game Brook Prime is just farming relics, which is always easy. And the relics you need for the Baruch Prime parts are currently on the screen, because I refuse to read out the 30 relics you need to get his parts or like the ones you can choose from to get his parts. Even though if I do that, I could pad out the video length and fit more ads to make more money. Wait, maybe this is a good idea. Lith P8, Meso H6, Meso B9. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Anyway, let's talk about the stats of Baruch, and then we'll talk about Baruch Prime. Baruch has pretty high defensive stats, as you can see in the stats on the screen. I'm doing a lot of editing work here, guys. Like and subscribe. I'm putting screenshots in the video. For a non-prime frame, his armor, shields, and health are all pretty high, which is absolutely a nice thing for casual players. Baruch also has 1.2 sprint speed. I really don't know if that's fast, because I've never really looked at that stat. But I do believe that means he moves faster than the average Warframe, because I'm guessing the average Warframe moves at one speed. So now we have a frame with pretty good defensive stats, and that can move slightly quicker than normal, which really isn't too common. Baruch Prime has way better stats than Baruch, though. I'm honestly surprised about how much better the Prime stats are. And I actually wasn't familiar, like, are Primes typically this much better than normal frames? I'm honestly not sure, since I've never looked at the stats like this before, but Baruch Prime has, like, a third more health, armor, and shields, which is, like, insane to me. Anyway, so I'm using the Prime version for this video, so W me, baby! I'm not going to do my standard practice of recording my first time using the frame, by the way, since I learned with my last video that using just one ability for five minutes isn't that interesting. Rip Banshee video viewers, I apologize. So here, I'll level up the Brook until I have all my abilities, show that gameplay, and just give my conclusion on him after I finish the gameplay. 
I think that's a better setup for these Warframe based videos. I should probably do this instead of like what I do with my gun and weapon review videos. So I hope you guys agree with that. And let's get right into the gameplay here. I'm going to be on, going on Steel Path, I think. Blech. Lotus, I do not want to talk to you. I do not love you. You are not my mother. Please leave me alone. Thank you. Goodbye. Never say anything to me again in your entire life, you filthy degenerate. Stop, MILF. I mean, stop. Oh my gosh, please stop. Please, please, please. Anyway, guys, I know I said I was going to do a steel path mission, but I realized there was a problem. I wasn't dying, actually. Baruch does not die. That's the positive thing about Baruch. Uh, I didn't die. The negative thing was that I didn't do damage either. <laughs> I didn't bring my best weaponry, and uh, it kind of sold me, to be honest, because I'm just not good at this game. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is getting using Endure in front of this guy to get my restraint up, so I can use all my, uh, my other better abilities. Oh my gosh, this is actually doing exactly what I want to do. Holy shit, this, I love you, turrets. Because with Endure, the first ability of Baruch, let me explain a little bit. When you're not attacking enemies, uh, you can dodge all incoming projectiles. Which is an absolutely insane ability. And what that will do is lower your restraint. And the lower your restraint becomes, the higher your damage resistance becomes. And at 50% restraint, which is like when it's 50% drained, you have a 50% increase in uh, damage reduction. Which is absolutely insane. On top of already being able to dodge projectiles with Endure when you're not attacking. So that's actually kind of like just like straight up blasphemy. It's so good. So that's like just huge right there. And then I, what I have around me floating around are these daggers. And what they do is they destroy enemy weapons, which is pretty lit. And they make them deal less damage, obviously. Being someone like 10 at a time, which is pretty nice with the mods I have on it. And I'll show you the mods I have on Brook right now, which I think is a pretty, one of my best, honestly, one of my best mod setups. I'm not, you guys, as you guys know, I'm not the best modder around here uh, at all. I suck at modding. But I think that it's one of my best mod setups in all honesty. Also, Brute can put enemies to sleep, which is kind of insane. Yeah, he can put enemies to sleep. It just makes no sense. He's just cheese, bro. Uh, the only problem right now is uh, energy production. Um, cause you're always using energy with Endure. And that's where my, my, my personal mod setup also comes kind of short. If I don't have a great way to keep energy going. Because all I have is energy siphon on for energy, so it's not amazing. But, I mean, you know, that happens sometimes. Is that restraint at zero, by the way? So we have restraint at zero. We get to use our melee weapon. That comes with Baruch, uh, this little punchy thing, and it's pretty cool. I think I have it modded decently for uh, weapons. Not anything crazy good, but I think it's pretty neat. So you guys, I'll show you that mod here for my weapon here. The fisties. It also looks amazing. This is one of the coolest looking abilities in the game. Look at that shit. Oh my gosh, I'm going to come in my pants. I hit through this wall. I am hitting through this wall. Nice. Oh no, I didn't. I was just came through the wall. I'm just stupid. And the, and once you get a lower restraint, the more you can use that. Because that uses your restraint. It doesn't actually use energy to use that ability. So you can use it as long as your restraint is low. And like I said, you lower your restraint by dodging bullets with Endure. Which is pretty awesome. You can also put enemies to sleep like this. And you don't go to sleep. So these guys across the should be go falling asleep here soon. So when I open this, they'll hopefully all be asleep. And yep, look at that. Isn't that insane? Oh my gosh, what a cool move. I have moves to make that uh, as long range as possible. And, uh, you know, just to put him to sleep as fast as possible. He's honestly such a cool character. He's great at crowd control, I would say, is his most, like, his best ability. With that sleep ability especially, it's just so insane. Watch this. I'm not, a, I'm not, oh, there we go. Watch this. Yeah, let's watch these losers. <laughs> let's watch these losers. Does it not work on Xmas? Why wouldn't he fall asleep? The Xmas must have been protecting him. I don't know how that works, honestly. Why excellences don't get put to sleep. I don't know how any of that works ever. To be honest with you gamers. <laughs> but anyway, my dog is treating up my slide. My Nike slides, guys. My dog was just chewing them up, bro. He was going to town on him. I have an Irish wolfhound. Uh, his name's Cook. And he loves chewing things up. And that's not my... Uh, so I, as you guys know, I was having some pet issues. I'll give you guys some clarification on that. Because I appreciate all the well wishes and stuff for my, my mother who went through surgery. And for my dog... Uh, who also recently went through surgery. During that surgery, they unfortunately found a, uh, a cancerous tumor on one of my dogs. Uh, he's one of, Quigley, he's like a poodle uh, terrier mix. He's pretty small. Fortunately, it's going to kill him uh, here within the year, they said. Probably less than a year. They said we're lucky, lucky if we get a year. Um, because he's in perfect health besides for the cancer, which they can't, they can't fix it. So that really is unfortunate. That's why, uh, yeah, that's why I kind of took a break from making videos for a little bit. I just didn't feel good about it because, like I said, there was a surgery with my family, with my mother, and then uh, 
my dog, you know, got diagnosed with, you know, the thing that would kill him. So, I mean, it was just unfortunate. But anyway, that just brought down the mood. Holy shit. Anyway, I'm talking about Brook. But yeah, I think Brook's good for casuals because he just, he just doesn't take damage, dude. Like, he's just so good at, like, reducing damage that he'll be great when you're playing solo and just doing, like, instantly hard missions on solo. Because I was just doing Steel Path, and obviously I didn't play that recording because I was doing no damage with this weapon. But I just did Steel Path, and I literally was just, like, not dying. I was just standing there. Uh, not being able to kill anyone, which was boring and a shitty video, so that's why I didn't use that video. But maybe I should have, because it would have been a better uh, show of his abilities. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Also, now my dog is chasing my cat. And that's awesome. Let's go to... Activate this, and boom. Anyway, I really don't have too much more to say, honestly, about Baruch here. He's just a pretty solid Warframe, fun to use. I think that's, like I said, I think he's a casual frame. I think he's good for casual. I'm not saying, like, he wouldn't be great for, like, really good players, too. I'm just saying, like, if you just pick him up, and you can really start using his abilities, like Endure. Uh, it's kind of like Limbo's hide, hide ability, almost, except there's more upsides, because you can just, um... You can, uh, I mean, you can still take damage in from melee, but, like, it's, like, better than Limbo's, in my opinion. Uh, transversing because you can literally just do so much damage uh, still with the, the swords take away weapons you can still activate all your abilities you can still impact the game you can leave it whenever you want to fight I don't know I just like it a lot and the sleep ability is honestly really good too I think one of the better sleep abilities in the game one of the better stun abilities in the game and then you have uh, the fisty thing I like doing that because it's just it looks cool it's one of the coolest abilities in the game so you don't know how good this like backup weapon is that comes with him which is like the fist, the glyphs, but it's, it feels cool. So, shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, honestly, that's really all I have for this video. I really don't think I need a conclusion section. Because I just said everything I want with this gameplay section. Um, I don't want to drag on this video for too long. So just thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying a new thing with these Warframe videos. Like, the ones about Warframes, obviously not like Warframe videos in general. Um, so they obviously need a different structure than that of, you know... Uh, the weapon video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how I should structure it. Because I feel like this is a little bit too unprofessional. Because I do like the scripted content here at the end. But all at the same time. Like I, I, I don't want to show the gameplay too. I don't know. Anyway I also put up and go ahead and put up. Like I always do the optimal build for Baruch here. As well. Why I looked up online and found a really good build. I'll put the person that I got the build from in the link below. I haven't actually looked up the build yet. So I'm not sure whose I used. But I'll put them in the link below as well. If you guys want to check out their video on optimal build for Baruch. And I showed you my casual build obviously already. So just thank you guys for watching. If you're a casual. I recommend kind of farming for Baruch Prime. Getting standard Baruch just don't do it. It's going to be more work and it's going to be less good. So just farm for Baruch Prime right now while you can as a casual. And it's going to be a pretty solid frame for you. Uh, but peace out. Stay blessed guys. Thank you for watching and bye.